Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Welcome back to another edition of EA App Sucks. That's right, all of your EA games that you're launching from Steam, they are broken again. So uh, this is essentially what you're gonna see. You're gonna run your game. It's gonna look like it's gonna start up and then it just dies on the vine. There you go. So it worked yesterday, doesn't work today. And we should be surprised why. Because EA has made it very clear they do not care about Steam Deck owners. All right, so the obvious quick and dirty way of doing this is to simply go over to the gear go to developer and select delete Proton files. Now, I will tell you right now that will destructively take down files that you probably care about, save files, configuration files. If you care about these things, you need to back them up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prove that this works and then I'm going to show you how to back up the files. All right, so let's fix that game. Developer, delete Proton files. That's really that easy. Now, unfortunately, you have to go through the entire first run process again, which as you can see, installs the EA app, does uh, all sorts of nonsense in between, direct DAGs, Visual C++ scripts, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you are running EA app as a separate non-Steam game, in other words, you bought your games on the EA app itself, or you own the games on the EA Digital Locker, then all you have to do to fix that version of the EA app is to simply point the non-Steam game back to the installer file. When it runs, it'll say start or repair, hit repair, and then once it's done, point your non-Steam game launcher back to the EA app executable and you're all done. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the opportunity to do that within a Steam purchased EA tween app launching scenario. So um, what we have to do is dust off and nuke it from orbit, just to be sure. And then we'll do all of this again. And this will restore the game to operating status. Do you have to do this every time you want to run the game now? No, this game will probably run until EA futzes with their launcher again, which seems to be every couple of weeks because they just can't seem to get enough of that crappy new launcher. I mean, Origins, I mean, this would actually make you beg to go back to Origin, right? I mean, Origin sucked, but it wasn't as sucky as the EA app has been for us. So once again, it's going to go through all the first run stuff. The next run of the game will be considerably faster. So if this sounds, if this looks terrible to you, it is, and uh, you won't have to do it again until EA breaks the launcher one more time. And you know that's gonna happen. It's just a matter of when. And as promised, the game does indeed work once again. So let's go ahead and deal with backing up your saves because you don't want to lose 30 plus hours of work you've done on any of these EA games. You're going to want to open up your browser and go to the PC Gaming Wiki. And you're going to want to search for the game in question. Okay. So this is probably the right one that we want. This is stored inside the user's profile inside a document, Star Wars settings for the settings, document Star Wars. Um, it does say that it uh, there's no cloud syncing going on here, right? So that's something good to know. Um, but it does say that it's inside the user profile documents and settings. So let's go ahead and take a peek there. So we're going to look up that compat data folder you do not have compat data listed in your places, I highly recommend you put it there because you're going to need it a lot. So now we're going to go to 123.7950. We're going to go into PFX. We're going to go to drive C. And then we are going to follow the path. User profile, which is always user Steam, documents, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and settings. And it looks like this has 
all the stuff that we need inside of it. That's where they say the save game data is located. So I'm going to go to my SSD where I've got a backups folder and I'm gonna back up Battlefront 2 over here. And that should get me everything inside of here. So it'll give me my settings and screenshots and everything. So now I've got a backup of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now I can restore that as soon as I'm done doing the Proton Files deletion that we did earlier, and we should be good to go. Listen, I hope this helped you out. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Um, we're gonna keep chasing this EA bug until it goes away for real. So thanks for tuning in. Hope it helped. We'll see you next time. Take care.